In December last year, which is the peak of commercial shooting season in South Africa, while frenetically bouncing from one commercial shoot to another, a big job came up. When my agent called, I knew it was big because it was an 11 day shoot for a TV commercial. It involved traveling throughout the country, and it was also a car commercial, so up front I knew that meant big budget. I immediately confirmed the booking. I was curious who the DOP would be, as I always am for larger scale jobs. So closer to the time, I talked to the focus puller I'd be working with, and he told me that the cinematographer on the job was Jeff Cronenworth. Fight Club, The Social Network, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Gone Girl, David Fincher's DOP. That, Jeff Cronenworth. Here's a little background on me. I currently work in the film industry in Cape Town, South Africa. I alternate between working as a DOP on smaller projects such as independent feature films, documentaries and music videos. However, the primary work which I use to sustain myself financially is through working as a loader or second assistant camera on TV commercials, feature films and other freelance camera assisting work I can pick up. Through working as a second AC, I'm lucky to be on set with an array of international DOPs all of whom I'm able to learn different techniques and approaches to cinematography from by observing how they work. Today, I'll be going over three main things I learned from working on set with Jeff Cronenworth. As cinematography is such a technical and creative profession, I think that often students of filmmaking overlook studying the kind of personality and mental state that the best professionals in the industry are able to adopt. At the forefront of what I picked up from working with Jeff was his everyday persona on set. I've worked with many DOPs on many sets, all with varying levels of experience. I found though that the most successful of them tend to have similar character traits. Being on set, particularly on a commercial set, is inherently stressful. Each hour of shooting is very costly, from paying crew to locations to large production design builds, on-screen talent and gear rental. All of these costs add up very quickly. This means that on a set there is always an enormous pressure to maximize shooting time so that all the required shots can be achieved as best as possible, as quickly as possible. On this particular car commercial, it was no different. There was an incredible amount of shots required, most of which involved various grip rig setups and camera builds, which are timely to set up over many locations. I found that different DOPs handle this time pressure in different ways. Some begin to shout at crew or get visibly frustrated or anxious. But overwhelmingly, the cinematographers who handle the pressure and stress the best are those who are able to maintain a state of complete, almost meditative, calm throughout shooting. Jeff on set was always calm, thinking and communicating clearly with a sense of understated authority and confidence. This created a positive work environment for the crew where, even under tough conditions and very long hours, the technical crew were willing to work deliberately and work hard to get the shots as quickly as possible without feeling the need to rush, which inevitably slows down shooting rather than speeding it up. Less haste, more speed. From a more technical point of view, what I admired about the way that Jeff worked was the proficiency of his technique. He's an incredible camera operator, whether using wheels to operate a stabilized Libra head, operating the camera on an arm car, or simply operating on a fluid head on a dolly. His movement was always spot on. This transfers to needing less takes to get the shot right, so that the director can fully focus on performance, knowing that they don't have to worry about incorrect camera movement or misframing. Being able to operate like this takes work, and is built up over a lifetime of operating a camera. The key is constant practice and, again, being calm and deliberate. A calm operator who isn't visibly stressed out will always operate better. The same could be said of his lighting technique. He always placed lights in a deliberate way and never had to go back on his decisions or tweak too much. He knew exactly what each light he placed on set would do, which sped up setup times while never sacrificing maintaining a beautifully crafted image. Another core skill required to be a successful DOP, which I feel often gets overlooked in film education, is scheduling and time management. It's not an easy skill to build. It comes with experience and shooting a variety of setups in a variety of conditions over a long period of time. This skill doesn't appear overnight. 
key to time management is having an experienced, trusted crew. Experienced DOPs will quickly establish how fast and effectively their technical crew is able to work and will try to give them just enough time for setups. Again, cutting down setup time maximizes shooting time. Jeff was great at giving the technical crew the time they required to set up a shot. He understands the gear very well and as such knows how much time is needed for setups. His calm persona on set, combined with his technical knowledge, meant that the crew was happy to push hard to get shots, working quickly under expectation rather than pressure. Crew are always happiest following a leader who has a definitive plan, experience and knowledge, something Jeff has in abundance. In the world of film schools and on-set education, there's always ample focus on the technical side of things. I think something that we as budding cinematographers should also consider is the psychological approach we take, as well as the mental state and persona we adapt on set. Filmmaking is a team sport. The crew are the players, the heads of department are like coaches, and the DOP is like a team manager. How the manager carries themselves treats their staff and controls the team using their experience will ultimately define their success. Thanks for watching. This was a bit of a different video from the usual content. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more like this, please like and subscribe and share your views in the comment section. Until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.